Hello friends, I am Dr. Kiran Kambarka and welcome you to the another video lecture on combustion tabulation. In the previous video, we have considered the combustion tabulation of solid and liquid fuel. Now this is the video regarding the gaseous fuel. Take the example, here uh, this is a gaseous fuel. As you can see, it is the methane, carbon monoxide, CO2, oxygen is given. So, it is a gaseous fuel. So, here you are asked to calculate volume and weight of theoretical air required for combustion of 1 meter cube of gas for 4 marks. And the next 4 marks is for the volume composition of the dry product of combustion if 15% excess air is supplied. So here in the gaseous fuel, it is somewhat a uh, similar process is there, but as compared to a solid fuel, the gaseous one is simpler one for the calculation. So first write down the sentence that let the basis of analysis be 100 meter cube of the given fuel. So, here it is 100 meter cube of the fuel. In the case of solid, that was 100 kg, here it is 100 meter cube. So, after writing this, draw the table. So, here you will find the table is somewhat short as compared to that of the solid fuel because here there is no requirement of uh, converting the given data into the uh, kilometers. Whatever the given data is there, we have to use this data only because here the all the percentage we have converted into meter cube by considering 100 meter cube of gas. So the data is converted into meter cube and there is no requirement to convert this data into kilomoles. That is, in case of gaseous fuel, no requirement to convert the given data into the kilomoles. The given data can directly be used for the further calculation. So here the given data we have to use, there is no required to convert into kilogram. Directly you can use that as the x value. Now here you can find the combustion calculation is somewhat different because here the calculation is not as easy as that in case of the solid. In solid there is carbon, sulfur, hydrogen, such components are there whose combustion calculation reactions are very simple that is 1 is to 1, 1 is to half type of reaction are there but here you have to calculate for the molecule that is CH4 molecule, carbon monoxide molecule such type of molecule will be required to calculate for their oxygen requirement so it is no required to get panic because the reaction are similar one. that is we have to use this data only for calculation of CH4 and other higher molecules also that is for example one carbon required one oxygen to produce one CO2 so here we have to consider this as carbon and hydrogen so for one carbon we require one oxygen so this one carbon will require one oxygen and it will produce one CO2 now hydrogen, here you can see H4, H4 means there are two molecules of hydrogen. So one molecule of hydrogen requires half molecule of oxygen to produce one H2. So one required half, therefore two molecules, as in this case two molecules, two molecules will require only one oxygen and it will produce two molecules of H2O. So therefore one for carbon and one molecule for two molecules of hydrogen. So there are total two oxygens are required for CH4. So one molecule of methane that is CH4 required two oxygen molecules to produce one CO2 and two H2O. So if you are having any doubt or uh, not understanding you can also directly learn the ratio here that is one methane always required two oxygen to produce one CO2 and two H2O. So this is the even uh, required ratio for the methane. So as in the given case, there are four molecules of methane. One methane molecule required two oxygen, therefore four will require eight. 
and one we can produce one CO2, therefore four will produce four CO2. One we can produce two H2O, therefore four will produce eight H2O. So this is all the calculations for methane. So methane calculations are done. Now moving toward hydrogen. Hydrogen molecule is same as that of solid. So one hydrogen molecule required half oxygen to produce one water molecule. One required half to produce one water molecule. Therefore, 22 will require 11 molecules of oxygen to produce 12 molecules of H2O. For carbon monoxide, here carbon monoxide and hydrogen are similar cases because hydrogen required half oxygen. Also, carbon monoxide required half oxygen to get converted into its complete combustion product that is CO2. So, similar to hydrogen, one carbon monoxide required half of oxygen to produce one CO2. One required half, therefore 20 will require 10 molecules of oxygen to produce 20 molecules of CO2. So, here are, these are the calculations. Now, nitrogen do not require any oxygen because nitrogen is inert for combustion. Similarly, CO2 is already get a burn or that is already a complete combustion product therefore it will also not require any of the oxygen so they are directly present in the product so direct nitrogen in product also this CO2 directly goes in the product but the oxygen which they were given as in the solid also I explained that oxygen is required to be taken from the air but as we have taken this oxygen from the Fuel, therefore, this amount of oxygen is required to be uh, subtracted. So, this oxygen as it is not taken from air, it is taken from the fuel, therefore, this amount must be subtracted. So, add all this and you will get the total amount of oxygen required for combustion of this fuel. So, this is all about the oxygen determination. The product we will discuss in the uh, next part that is four mark, remaining four mark of the volumetric composition. So after calculating the oxygen required, next uh, task is we have to calculate the theoretical air or minimum air. So here the kilomoles of oxygen required multiplied by 100 by 21. As you have to find air, therefore 100 is the numerator and oxygen is already we know it is 26, therefore it is the denominator. So the answer comes by multiplying the kilomoles of oxygen by 100 by 20 and you will get the answer in meter cube. So this is the answer for the 100 meter cube of the fuel. So this is the amount of air required for 100 meter cube. Now we will find out the quantity for 1. So theoretical air required per, sorry here it should be meter cube. So theoretical uh, air per meter cube of the fuel which should be divided by 100 and the answer comes to be 1.28 so therefore now the given question according to given question we have to find out the volume so volume is directly uh, determined here because here the answer is already in meter cube so no required to multiply by 20.4 importantly in the Cassius scale, there is no requirement of multiplying by 22.4 because answer is already in meter cube. Therefore, the answer is directly answer is in meter cube. But when you have to find the weight of the air, in that case, the ratio is there. Here it is not only you have to multiply by 28.9 for you, you are also supposed to divide by 22.4. The division factor is there to convert the given meter cube into zero moment. Once the answer converted into kilomole, then you have to multiply it by molecular weight of air that is 28.95 and you will get the answer of weight of theoretical air uh, for per meter cube of the gas. So here it is importantly, you have to divide by 22.4 uh, to the given theoretical minimum air for one uh, meter cube of the fuel and then you have to multiply it by 28.95. So this is the answer for the B1 question. Now if suppose it is asked for 25 uh, meter cube of the gas, that is in any other case, 
if suppose 25 meter cube gas is required to burn, then how much air is required? Then in that case, the answer up to this stage is same. Now, whatever answer you have determined here, multiply by the given question. That is, the given question is suppose there is 25 hours, multiply by 25. If it is asked for 100 meter cube, then multiply by 100. So, you will get the accordingly answer. Now, for the Q gas determination, uh, here again it is started with the percent uh, calculation of the actual air. For that, the percent excess here we have to utilize. The here actual air is determined by the same formula theoretical air multiplied by 100 plus percent excess 100. That is, here as in this case, there is 15 percent excess air is used. Therefore, the formula becomes theoretical air multiplied by the 115 by 100. So here again it is very important what value you have to take here. It is the value of the 100 meter cube of fuel, not for the 1 meter cube. So you will get the answer in the 142.38 meter cube. So here it is the calculation of the actual air. By using this actual air, now we will calculate the total nitrogen by the same formula. That nitrogen from the fuel you have to first add and then nitrogen from the actual air. So nitrogen from the actual air is calculated by multiplying the actual air uh, by 79 by 100. This will give you the total nitrogen. Again, now we have to find the oxygen from the excess air. For that you have to first find excess air. Excess air is actual air minus theoretical air. That is the quantity of excess air. And whatever quantity you will get in excess of air, multiply that quantity by 21 by 100. This will give you the amount of oxygen present in excess of air. First, to calculate this excess of air, now go for the volumetric composition determination. Now, CO2, which you have calculated, is the very first table. Add all the quantities of CO2. Here, all CO2 are required to be added. If it is a dry product, don't consider H2O. If it is asked for the product only, then you can consider H2O. Nitrogen from the total nitrogen and oxygen just we have calculated. Add all these components and you will get the total. This total is required to be considered for the calculation. So here the individual component divided by the total and multiply the hundreds, which will be the percentage of the individual component. So for carbon dioxide, the total carbon dioxide. How it is came? It is came from the, the very first table. So you can see here the very first table. Here there is 4 carbon dioxide, 20 carbon dioxide and 6 carbon dioxide. So these 3 are added. This water is not required to be considered. If the case it is the way uh, product, then only you are required to consider that. So here we have come again on this slide. So here CO2 is total CO2 30, you are in the total and this are the 100, you will get the percent contribution of CO2. For nitrogen, again the total nitrogen divided by the total Q gas, you are multiplied by 100, you will get the nitrogen percentage. And in case of oxygen, this is the oxygen from the excess of air divided by the total Q gas, multiplied by 100, you will get the oxygen percentage. So this will give you the remaining 4 marks. If in any other case, if air fuel ratio is also asked, so you have to simply take the volume of actual air, divide it by the volume of fuel, and you will get the air fuel ratio, which is expressed as 1.423 uh, by 1 in this case. So whenever you are required to ask air fuel ratio, you have to ask you the answer in this format. And there is no reason because it is a ratio. So one is for the fuel, and this is the actual air required. So thank you all for listening the video. And uh, if you are having any doubts and any queries regarding the combustion calculation, please feel free to contact. And uh, very best luck for your examination. And get set always. Thank you.